हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यूनिवर्सल एनालाइजर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द टेंसेस या आई हैव डन द वीडियो ऑन द टेंसेस बिफोर बट सम ऑफ देम हैव बीन रिक्वेस्टेड टू डू in detail so i have taken in one video i am going to explain one tense therefore in this video i am going to explain you in detail about the present tense in detail means i am going to give a uh, more examples and explain that how to identify present tense or how to know that the given sentence is a present tense or how to write the sentence in present tense in different forms we can use these formulas first of all we should know tenses we should know in first in this video we are going to see about the present tense now we should know these formulas perfectly we should not confuse at all therefore i have make an made this chart here four different types of present tense simple present tense continuous present tense perfect present tense and perfect continuous present tense okay now next simple present tense how to identify that the given sentence is simple present tense now you can see here i have written that s plus v1 plus object here s will be subject and o will be the object whereas v will be the verb okay v1 v1 that is uh, v1 form that is a plain verb will be there s plus v1 plus object okay first i will discuss all the formulas what they mean and then i will explain by the examples okay now continuous present tense the formula for the continuous present tense is that s plus am or is or are plus v4 plus object here s is subject as usual o is object v is a v4 form that is v plus ing form should be used here v4 means and am is are should be used as per the subject okay if subject is i we should use am if the subject is he she it then it should be used is and if there are plural they boys uh, girls in this way may plural form we should use are in this way as convenient to that of the subject we should use any of this one am is or are okay now let's move to third part third part is that present perfect present tense perfect present tense how should we know that the given sentence is perfect present tense if the sentence is in this structure then we can tell that is s plus have or has plus v3 plus object here s yes, is subject o is object v verb third form we should use past participle v3 form and have and has have and has should be used as convenient to that of the subject here we can if i is there we have to use have compulsory okay i is singular but we have to use have and in remaining in plural forms we have to use have and in singular he has she has it has it should be used okay now let's move to the perfect continuous tense perfect continuous present tense that is s plus have or has plus been plus v4 plus object here perfect is there continuous here have and has as it is but if in sentence it is been and v4 form is there we can identify perfect continuous present tense it is okay you should perfect these formulas okay you should know 
Please make the chart in the same way and stick on your study room so that it will be revised daily. So in any exams, in any competitive exams, in 12th board exams, in 10th board exams, we there will be one to two compulsory questions on tenses. Okay. It is the fundamental basic in the grammar. Now let's move to the examples. Let's see with formula and I will explain how these examples will be fit in that. Okay. Here they have given simple present tense. Exam formula is S plus V1 plus object. Here S, S is I, V, V1, sing. What is V2? Sang, sung, singing. In this way V1, V2, V3, V4 form will be there. And this is a song is object. In this way S plus V1 plus object. In this formula it will fit. So, we can tell that this sentence is a simple present tense. Let's move to the next example. We sing a song. We sing a song. He plays cricket. Here, plays will be there because it is a singular. Therefore, yes should be used compulsory. She plays cricket in this way. Okay. Now, Let's move to the continuous present tense. Continuous present tense examples will be I am reading book. Here let's see what will be the formula S plus am or is or are plus V4 plus object. Here V4 plus object. Hmm. I will be yes. Then convenient what? Uh, should be used helping verb should be used am for I helping verb convenient helping verb read v4 form v4 form of read is reading book is object s plus am plus v4 plus object okay have it fit in this formula yes now here we are reading book here v v it is a plural therefore we use are they are they is a plural therefore we use are they are reading book okay have you got it simple present tense and continuous present tense now let's move to the perfect present tense examples for that is I have sung a song. I subject plus have plus V3 form. V3 form of sing plus a song is object. S plus your formula is that. S plus have or has plus V3 plus object. Here we can see S plus have plus V3 plus object. We have sung a song. You have sung a song in this way. Now, let's move to the perfect continuous present tense. Example, formula will be, you see here, perfect continuous will be yes plus have or has plus been plus v4 plus object. Now, I have ate a mango then it will be the perfect present tense. But if the sentence has been plus V4, then it will be the perfect continuous present tense. Okay. We have been eating a mango. Ram has been eating a mango. Okay. In this way, today we have studied the present tense, all different forms, simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous present tense with examples. Okay, in this way we can revise. If you don't understand, please refer these and understand these examples properly. You will be perfect in this tense chapter. Okay, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel Universal Analyzer. Thank you for watching my video.